guys, welcome back to Grania's Home and Kitchen. So today I decided to do a plant video. One of my favourite plants, and any plant collector will tell you, one of their favourites is the Monstera Deliciosa. <laughs> so I have just got a new puppy. Her name is Penny. Mm, she is delightful. Um, our beautiful old boy got cancer and we had to put him down, which is really sad. So we decided not to leave Leroy, our other dog, on his own. We decided to get a new puppy but she's a bit of a rascal, so I have to be careful that she doesn't eat my plants. I may have to call Kieran to come and help me out. So I will be putting up a video about our beautiful Ollie um, sometime soon. Ah. Okay, Kieran, you better take her. She's eating this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Go on, come on. In you go to daddy, go on. In you go to daddy. Okay, <laughs> Kieran's taking her. Because she's trying to eat my plant. Okay, so, you can see here that I have three different Monstera Deliciosa. I'm not happy with really any of them. This one's probably the best. Look, I love the aerial root. I just think that is so cool. So I'm going to show you. I'm going to split these up. I'm going to make new plants. I'm going to give them to my friends. And I'm going to try and make a full plant for myself. This goes in my kitchen. And I bought this pot in HomeSense. It was $49, $49.99. Um, a little expensive, but this plant is so beautiful, it deserves a beautiful pot. So let me take off all of this, and let's start by splitting up the plant and seeing what I have. So this was my big one. I think the reason the leaves haven't split is because I had it in my dining room. My dining room isn't really bright enough, so then I moved it into my kitchen. And it seems to be doing better in the kitchen, but you can still see the new leaves are not really splitting yet. So I just want, so I have plastic here on the ground guys, so I just want to split it up and uh, make a nicer plant using this one here that has been splitting. So let's get it out of the pot. It's quite well rooted, if you look here guys. So I'll pull them out one piece at a time. So, basically, that's a plant. You'll see how many plants I, I can get out of this. Oh, come, 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 come. Whoops. Here's another. So I am going to give some of these away to my friends. This one, the leaf that fell off, stick it in water and it'll root. Two. What else? I've got quite a lot of plants here. Very easy to split this plant. Nice, beautiful root base on these. And then these two I will just put apart. Okay, so there we have four plants in that. I'm going to throw this soil, although there's a lot of roots down there, I'll just break up the roots. Oh, sorry guys, making a mess. That's why I have plastic on the ground. So I'm going to throw this soil into the base of this pot. Now, Look at that, it's a nice thick root, but it broke off. So I am very good at watering plants. I don't need to have holes in the bottom of my pots. I do use a water uh, meter. You can buy them in Canadian Tire for about $10, and you can stick them in your pots to see if your plants are wet or not. So if you're not very good at, what, at judging, you can purchase one of them. I use it sometimes, but I'm pretty good at watering, so I don't need to have drainage holes. If you are not very good at that, you can put them in a nursery pot, which would be something like this that has holes in the bottom, and then put it into your pot so that you don't get your plants waterlogged. So I am just going to, I'm not going to actually have enough soil here, I'm going to have to go get some more. So I have a huge bag of soil in my garage. I always keep it on hand because those of you that have been following me for a while would know. I am a big plant enthusiast. I'm just pulling out the, the, the big roots. It doesn't really matter, you don't really have to do that. So now I'm just going to top this up with soil, and as I say, I will have to go get more out of the garage. Okay, so this one here is my favorite. You'll see this is still in its nursery pot, so it's time, this is really ready. To come out, I'll show you now. It's probably very root bound. Oh, now, look at the beautiful roots on that, and look at the beautiful aerial roots. I just they are my favorite, I love them. So, this is going to take a pride of place 
here in the front of the pot. Okay, so here's another one that's in a nursery pot. Again, this is going to quite have a nice root base. And I'm going to split this up also. So just break the roots apart. There's another plant. You can even just, that would be a baby. You can even pull that out and plant that. That's a nice little gift for somebody. And I see this one here. There's two here. So it's really, that's the beauty about plants. You can really share them with your friends. There's no need for us not to be able to share when we're doing something like this. So I have a few people I know that are interested. And I will give them some of these. So I'm just going to put some of the soil in. And I'm going to go out to the garage, get more soil. I'll be back in and we're going to put this beautiful plant together. Okay guys, so I've got some more soil. So I'm just going to pick through these. So that I'm going to give away to somebody. This one I'm going to keep because look, it has that lovely area. Oh, excuse me, I go to sneeze. <coughs> the soil, <coughs> the soil always makes me sneeze. If you saw my video where I did my um, succulent arrangement, I think I was sneezing in that as well. So again, look, another little baby. Now to buy a plant, probably a little bit bigger than this, could cost you $20 or more, depending on where you live. So it's lovely to share these with people. Okay, so I'm going to put this one here. I like the aerial roots to hang over the edge. I just think it looks really cool. So I'm going to fill this one in. I think I'm going to need even more soil. I'm going to tell you the name of the soil I use. I use it for absolutely everything. I use it for my Hoyas. I use it for my succulents. And I have had no problem with it at all. I don't even have to add anything to it. I used to make my own soil. I did actually put a video up, but I can't get the unscented kitty litter anymore. And um, so I, I'm afraid to use the scented kitty litter. So I buy this soil now. And as I say, it's pro mix and it's high, I think it's called porosity. So I guess it's, it's a very porous soil. So um, I will put the name of it up in the description. Okay, so let's have a look and see which other one. So you can see here, I don't know if you can see, that is the sign of a new leaf coming. And you see this little, it's like a fin almost on the side of the branch. Now, I would prefer these to have, I'm not sure if it's fenetrations or fenestrations. So forgive me if I'm saying it wrong. So I'm gonna put this one here at the back. Now I'm not gonna overfill it. With, um, with plants. Actually, let me see if there's now these ones I'm definitely going to give away as gifts. I'm going to do enough for work as well. So, this one has started splitting. So, you know what? I might bring this one into work. And I'll use one of the ones that has started splitting already. <laughs> so, I'm thinking. So I think I'm actually just going to use this one. So I'm just going to use three plants in here. I think that will be sufficient and it will give me a beautiful plant in the course. And the rest I'm going to pot up for other, either other areas of the house, for my friends, and as I say, I want to bring one into work. So now I'm going to fill up my pot with soil. beautiful pot, I love it. Home Sense have the most beautiful pots. All my pots are from Home Sense. Okay, so actually my soil is frozen because it's winter time here in Canada. So again, I'm just going to fill in the plant and I'm hoping that this is going to turn into a magnificent Monstera deliciosa. such a pretty plant and it's so iconic you see it in lots of artwork and uh, you know cards you go up you know notebooks it's such an iconic leaf it's used an awful lot in artwork so how, what nicer than to have a real one in your home so let's see how we are doing here 
Now it will fill out and take a more natural shape in due course. But I notice that I am starting to get signs of new leaves. As I say, it looks like a fin. There's more coming along here. And so I can see new leaves starting to be produced. I did get a couple of new leaves, but they weren't split, which was very surprising. But I think it had something to do with the fact that, see, that's a new leaf. I think it had something to do with the fact that I'd had it in the dining room and the dining room wasn't bright enough. Now I did hear that the fifth leaf of the plant will be the one that will split. I don't know if it's true, but that's what I did here. But this one here now, I'm going to plant it into a pot and bring it to work. I may have to cut off some of the top leaves because it is a little bit top heavy and that will hopefully put all the energy back into the root system and I'll get new leaves. Now if I do cut these leaves off, I can just stick them in water, they'll root and there's more new plants. Um, I, you know, I, I love, to, love to give people plants and they are so excited and as I say, it's expensive to buy these. And these ones are pretty difficult to find, although they are becoming more common. But when I first got them, they were gold dust. I mean, nobody could find them. You know plants have become such a phenomenon, everybody just loves them. So let me take a look and see how this is looking. Should I put one more plant in there? Maybe I should. I think maybe guys, I will put one more plant in and just see. So maybe the other one that had the split leaf. That one doesn't have a split. So this one here has a split leaf. So you know what? I think I will. Now again, if it just gets too big, you just do the very same thing. I just split it up and start all over again. Okay, so now I'm just going to stick that one in there. And fill it up with the soil. And I'll give it a nice watering. And I'm going to put it in not direct sun, but in my kitchen. I get some beautiful sun in my kitchen. But I have it in the corner of my kitchen so it doesn't get direct sunlight because. Plants don't really like direct sunlight, and there probably are some that can tolerate it, but um, a lot of plants can't tolerate direct sunlight, it, it will burn the leaves. So I am going to stick this in the corner of my kitchen, and as I say, I love these. You can cut these off if you don't like them. I just think they're so pretty. Okay guys, so this is what I've come up with. So as you can see, it looks a little bit messy at the moment, but it will fill out, because I have got four plants in here, spread them out better so the roots will have room to, to expand. Um, I think I'll cut this leaf off because it's, you can see there's a bit of rust on it, but um, we, are we are getting some nice penetrations on the leaves and hopefully soon this will grow into a beautiful full split leaf Monstera deliciosa. Now this was the one that I had in the pot that was very long and if you recall I said I may cut the tops off so I did. I made sure to leave this part here because this is where a new leaf is going to come from. Um, it just was too top heavy, it wouldn't sit properly in a pot, so this will give it a better chance to start again. There's more new leaves coming here. So I'm going to bring that into work. And then, So I just want to show you what I'm left with. So I may put these up in my plant group and see if anybody wants to come by and pick them up. So I have one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, <laughs> this thing, nine baby plants. I believe. Have I any more? Yeah, so nine baby plants there. And then these are the leaves that I cut off. Oh my gosh, trouble is here again. Ah, no, 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 that's not good. And then these leaves I'm going to stick. Now, I would have liked the stems to be longer, but I didn't want to affect the new leaves that were coming through. So I'm just going to stick these in water. They will root and they will be more plants. So I have four leaves. So look at how many. So what did I say? I have nine little plants here that I can share. My own big plant, these two, one for work on. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was informative. If you have any questions, please ask me in the comments below. 
And if you wouldn't mind subscribing to the channel, I would greatly appreciate it. And don't forget to give me that thumbs up. Guys, take care. Happy planting.